Taifu by walking into the wrong kind of sauna in Istanbul. Okay so last night went incredibly sideways, I spent 4 days in Istanbul exploring, and on my last night I thought hey, let us go get a massage. These are thing in Turkey, and everyone always talks about the bathhouses. So, first I went and got a straight shave that I did wanted to get from this Syrian dude who ran a barber shop near my Airbnb. Straight shaves are common here, and I have not had one in forever. That was an experience in itself. But that is for another day. Here in Turkey there is this thing called the hammam. It's a Turkish bath. You go in and you get a full body scrub after soaking in a hot sauna for a while. Supposed to be very cleansing and relaxing. But things went nothing as expected. There is this one near me that is super popular. It has ton of amazing reviews. And it is cheap. Add to that, it has been there since like 1453. I went there, and I got there at about 9 pm. They tell me they do not take anybody past 8 30 because they shut the doors at 10, I think. Damn, okay, so be it. So I jump back on my phone and I see if there is any more nearby. Sure enough, there is one more, and they are open till midnight. Boom, let us go. I get there, and I ask the rates, and they asked me if I want a locker or a room, and I am like, what is the difference, and he is just like, locker, or room, I say what is the difference in price, he says they are the same, so I say okay, give me a room, no biggie, and then I walk in, and immediately shit feels weird, first guy I see in the hallway on my way to my room is staring at me just weird as duck, I ignore him and keep going, I get into my room, and then I change into a towel. I put my shit down and leave the room and lock the door with my key. And then I put the key on my wrist. Let us go and find this sauna area. Oh and on a side note, the guys at the desk told me that they do not ham them here. It is just basically a sauna, I think. Damn it. Oh well, I am already here though. Let us just go check it out. So I am looking for the sauna area and around every corner I turn there is just some creepy mother ducker leaning on the wall in his towel staring at me weird. And then I see a room that is dark, with lots of men inside sitting on what I guess were just benches basically, and I can tell the room is heated, cause I can feel the heat emitting and I assume that maybe this is the sauna room. So I walk in, and it is super dark and there is basically black lights in there. You can just kind of make out the figures of everyone sitting inside and of course people less towels are reacting to the lights. So it is kind of weird looking, almost like a club. And it is super quiet, everyone is so fixated on whatever is at the other end of the room. So I walk in there and I look down and oh my ducking god, I see two enormous, bearish looking men up against the far wall ducking each other. I am talking two men who are in excess of 250 pounds and covered in hair. And of course now it all makes sense, this is an extremely gay sauna, and I am like, what the duck, how did I end up here? So I retreat as fast as ducking possible to I get out of that room, despite the fact that I about faced a fraction of a second after, realizing what I was looking at, that image will be forever seared in my brain. Let me be clear here, I have no problem with consenting adults doing what they want with each other in front of other consenting adults who want to watch, just was not what I was after, why no? So yeah, I am not even certain how to react here, or if I should just pack my shit up and run, but obviously I am just being stared at by everyone, and apparently I am like the sweetest mother fucking delicacy that seems to have ever walked in there. I cannot tell if I am about to get aggressively run up on. No I do not assume this is an aggressive environment, but this place is clearly, built for men who just want to get it on. If you are here, seemingly this is what you are here for. The shit felt so unnerving. But there was a sauna room that was empty. So I said duck it, I am going to go and sit down for a few minutes and not be that guy who just runs off. There is no reason why this should be unsafe. You know, I go in and I sit down in there for maybe 5 minutes, and a guy comes and sits down on the far end of the room and I am pretty sure he was touching himself, but looking at me, not sure though, because I would not look his way, I know that sound though, I too like to touch my penis from time to time, it is not a silent event, especially not in a sweaty sauna, anyhow, a few minutes later another guy walks in and he sits down somewhere. And then maybe after the 15th minute a third guy comes and sits down but he sits down close to me. He is in there for less than a minute. And though he is a step above me off to my right. And he is sitting. 
He is slowly but surely edging towards me. I am watching in my peripheral, and I figure he is about to come on to me or something. And after a few seconds I feel him grab my shoulders and start trying to rub them. Very quickly I put a hand up in respectful protest and I say number and I just express very calm disinterest. And he takes the hint and quickly leaves. At this point I figure I have had enough of an adventure for the night, so I run and grab my shit and leave. On the way out I kept hearing dudes in these rooms which I now realize are offered so people can go in and get busy, ducking like crazy, so yeah. When I say shit went sideways last night, I mean it went sideways, too long didn't he read walked into a bathhouse expecting a massage and scrub down, but instead found myself witnessing an orgy of giant hairy Turkish men ducking each other up against walls and in the showers. PLS send help, edit words and things, edit to certainly appreciate the interest in my story. Glad everyone is so entertained. I did remove the address which I posted foolishly in one of the comments. Clearly, the exposing of such information could be detrimental to certain locals in Istanbul. I am loving the comments though. Not the most traumatic thing that happened to me, but certainly unexpected and entertaining. But seriously, while I have got your attention, I love all of you mother duckers. Go give somebody a hug today. Oh, and high fives. Give lots of those, high fives lift spirits. Edit 3 I have been warned heavily against giving out the location of this place and therefore I just cannot. Sorry you sexy ducks, no can do. I will tell you that it is near Taksim though. Not that, means a whole lot. The area is huge, at any rate, bedtime on my side of the world. Be well, and much love to all who read this, best. Did you end up going back to the other place though? Of course when they reopened. Nope. It was my last night there. Had to catch a flight out the next morning. Too bad. Too. Wanted to see what the real ones were about. So wait. You went to the first place for a sauna, massage, and scrub down. You then left the second place because you were offered a sauna, massage and probably scrub down. Confused priorities. I guess. I cannot believe you stayed for the sauna, you have got some balls which I am sure they liked. Seriously though, not scared at all of someone walking in there are being ganged up on. The picture you are painting feels like an everything anything goes dark place where cops stare not venture lol. I have had a couple friends express a similar sentiment. Honestly, I could immediately tell that I was in way over my head, but at the same time I was not trying to be that guy who looked like he hates gay people or anything like that. I do not care what consenting adults do in their spare time, I have, nothing against any sexual orientation or how you choose to live your life, but I think part of me was trying to not look like some homophobic straight guy who is disgusted by the lifestyle. Likewise, since everybody saw me walk in, if I had walked right out then it would have been clear that I was running away and possibly sending a message of harsh judgment. I figured if I sat and hung around for a while, then once I did leave it would be because it was just time, rather than through discomfort or fear. Man, you handled everything so well. You were respectful of the culture of the place you realized you had encroached upon and did not cast judgment or allow yourself to be reined by fear. You have earned my respect stranger never stop being like that thank you love and acceptance wins period i need not spread an unhealthy sense of disdain where it does not exist even if that means i hang awkwardly in a steam room for an extra 15 minute hit like if you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to our channel <laughs>